Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie for Diesel Dollar Budgets, and today we're going to be filming our cash stuffing for the second paycheck in May. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in watching, please stay tuned for more. Hi guys, and welcome back. So as you can see here, I have $800 that I'm going to be putting out into our cash stuffing envelopes for this uh, paycheck. So I'm just going to get this out on a cash tray and then we'll get started. So now that that's out on the tray, I'm going to take my wallet and I'm just going to check and see if I've got anything left in here. I don't believe so, so there's nothing in there, but I can hear some coins rolling around. So I'm going to go into my zipper pocket and see what coins we've got and if we can put anything into our uh, cash envelopes. So I've got a couple of dollar coins here and I've got a couple of two dollar coins. So I'm just going to put those aside and I can put those into my... Um, dollar challenges and then I've got a few little great um, silver coins here which will go into my shrapnel jar and I'll count this at the end of the year so just to get started I'm going to start stuffing my uh, wallet for this fortnight so I'm going to be taking $400 for groceries so we've got 51 52 53 54 put that down and then I'm also going to take another $50 note and that's going to be for petrol so that's what's going to go into my wallet for today or this fortnight just stuffing that in there so now that that's all stuffed I'm going to move on to my sinking funds here I have my personal size Motem in pebble black and we're going to get started with our emergency fund so emergency is going to get $50 this fortnight and just in there we've got currently got $50 so now we've got $100 in emergency I have taken out my pet accessories um, uh, envelope because I want to sort of stop buying accessories I bought Karu a nice little jacket for winter so that he had something to wear when it gets cold and when it's raining so I've taken out the accessories envelope and we're just going to focus on everything else um, pet food and treats is going to get skipped this fortnight Dog training is going to be getting $50 and dog training currently has $100 in there so now it's got $150 and that'll go towards training for the new year. So I better actually colour in, whoops, wrong pen, better colour in those clicker uh, emblems. So one, two, three, four and five. Each one of those clickers represents $10. So as I say, we've got $150 in there currently. And we need to get about $500 by the end of July so that we can sign up Karu for his next lot of training. Or for his annual training, I should say. So now we're going to keep going on. Gifts is going to get skipped because we don't have any gifts that we need to buy anytime soon. Uh, the last present we bought was already been paid for and the next couple of birthdays we don't buy presents for those people so getting skipped medications is going to be getting ten dollars this fortnight so medications currently has twenty thirty dollars in there uh, diesel dollar budgets got emptied last week so I'm just going to put oh, last fortnight so I'm just going to put twenty dollars in there for this fortnight and that's just going to cover anything that I want to buy for myself. And then Pile of Shame, which is Luke's fund, is also going to be getting $20. And that's for him to do whatever he wants with. Um, he does do miniature painting. And I know I promote it every time in every video. But if you're into miniature painting, please check the description in the down below or look at his channel on YouTube and on Instagram where he posts a lot of videos about his miniatures that he's painted. So with that, that is all the envelopes stuffed in this binder for this fortnight. So let's get on to our savings challenges. So here I have my personal size Motem in Pebble Deep Teal, which houses my savings challenges. Now, I, as you know, I did empty this out when we went away to Yarrawonga this past weekend. So I'm going to just stuff what I had um, left to stuff in these challenges. So my quarterly challenge uh just going to continue that so for the quarterly challenge we've got $30 for week 21 
and $20 for week 22. That totals to $50, so I'm going to take a $50 note. And that challenge currently has $150 in there, but as I say, we did remove the money that I had already saved up in there, so that's just going to continue until the end of this challenge. So we'll just slide that back in there. And once that challenge is completed, I'm not sure where that's going to go, probably go to dog training if I'm being completely honest. Seasonal challenge did get completely emptied, but I am going to colour in the remaining uh, icons so that I can complete that challenge for this, for, for this you know, autumn. <laughs> so week one is, oh, week 11, sorry, is $20, so I'm just going to colour in that X. Week 12 is $10, so that's going to be $30, and then I'm also going to colour in the last day of autumn. And that's $25 there. So the total for this is going to be $55. So we've got a 50 and a 5. And now that that challenge is completed, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with this. I'll probably put it somewhere. But let's go on to the next one. Our Funhouse challenge is also getting completed today. And so I'm going to colour in week 11, which is $35. Week 12, which is $15, the bonus 15, and the bonus 25. So we've got 35, 50, 15, and 25, which is 40, so that's $90 in total. So I've got a 50, 20, uh, 50, 70, 90. So $90 is going into our Funhouse Challenge. And that challenge is now completed. I'm looking forward to when Carrie Cash brings out the next one of those so that I can start that as soon as possible. Um, I've put my Christmas savings challenge in here just so that I can start stuffing that for next fortnight. Um, I'm not going to stuff it this fortnight. Actually, maybe the savings challenges that I've finished might go in there. Anyway, uh, so $5 notes challenge. We're restarting this because I did empty that when we went away to Yarrawonga. And as you can see, I have a $5 note here. So I'm just going to colour in that one $5 note. So that currently has $5 and it's always a good start to, you know, put something in there the first time. Our $1 coins I did also restart. So I'm going to take those gold coins that I got from my wallet and there's two in there. So I'm just going to colour two of these coins in. So one and two. And that's going to start off, restart that envelope again. And, you know, as I say, it's always good to start off small and I'll continue as we go on. And then again, with the $2 challenge, I'm going to get those $2 coins that I had in my wallet. So we have three two dollar coins there so I'll colour in three of these coins now each one of these challenges unless it's stated down below uh, you can get from my uh, Etsy shop that is still open it's called diesel dollar budgets I will have a link in the description bar so that you can see where you can buy those things from so there's six dollars going into our two dollar challenge and with that that is all our sinking funds and saving challenges stuffed for this fortnight so just a little update what's going on with us. Um, Karoo, it went really, really well at when we went away for our trip to Yarrawonga. We had an amazing time with Luke's family and catching up with his grandparents for their 90th, as well as with all of the cousins and the um, my in-laws. So when we went to the uh, Chinese restaurant, Karoo was absolutely perfect. We've been doing a lot of training, getting him to tuck underneath the table and just be calm and quiet and just stay where I've asked him to stay. And he did absolutely perfect. He did not move the whole time we were there. And we were there for a good, you know, two hours almost. So when we were actually leaving, the restaurateur said to us, you know, um, don't really like having kids in the restaurant, but if, you know, I'd rather have a hundred of those dogs sitting in my restaurant than children. So that's always a good compliment. Um, other than that, Luke and I are still going on with everything that's going on and we're just chugging along as you do. Um, it's always a good day as long as you're above ground. So think, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>